we're back over here with uh, Troy Fedor today, and we want to show you our new window net kit design. If you follow us on Facebook, you've probably already seen it. It's been a popular deal that we've uh, just come up with. We actually have a horizontal and a vertical option, depending on how you want. Uh, the horizontal gets out of the way quicker, the hor but the vertical kind of is out of your way more when you're driving a car. So kind of up to you how you want to do that. But today we basically want to compare the old style horizontal kits that we use compared to what we used to use. And the main difference is in why we designed what we designed. Because we've used just about everything over the years on our cars. And we've used a ton of these McCamus kits. And we at, just kind of want to show you day, what... Yeah. The McCamus kit really is nice. It is a nice kit. And we've used it forever. And I just want to show you really quick. Let me get the bag open. Sure. Dang right. it, Bobby. Give us a minute. Give us a minute. All right, we're back. We got everything picked up, and uh, now Troy's going to explain to you the two different kits. So basically, your Tim, Tim McGamus kit comes with a uh, printed piece that snaps on the cage and helps for the assembly. Which, before they had this, it was really a it pain. This was. definitely has helped a lot. It hugely, hugely. But regardless, it is a bunch of pieces. And once it's all assembled, or once it's all welded into the car, it has to be assembled in the car. And that includes hammering in two roll pins, fighting with a spring, washers, and so on. My other thing is, is uh, for me anyways, when we installed these, I, I don't care what you do. When you final weld these, you always got to tap them around a little bit. The yep. pin will kind of get hung up. But it, it ends up, like we said, it's, we're and, not bashing. And, we sell these, we buy them, but... The that's, tough part is that it's so close to the cage that it's hard to get in there with a reamer or anything to, to chew that all out again. So you do have to kind of take your time welding it. It's a very tedious piece to install. But like I said, it's been the standard for so long. Right. Well, we decided to try and do something a little different. Basically, our entire kit... is right there and this is the magic this is the piece that makes it all work simply pull out let back in your tube goes right into the end of it like so and you can see it better on our model up top also, the other thing we implemented into this piece is this uh, radius here so that the tube, if you don't even really have to look. If you pull this locates. back, it locates exactly center of that pin. So that, that helps when you're trying to put the tube in there and you're it's strapped not, in. Or It's not a wrestling match. Basically, this is the same thing. You pull your tube out and the net falls. Simply pull your thing out. And this billet bracket is all in one piece and it's notched for the tubing already. Also, the tabs in the back are notched for the tubing. The tab in the back back here is also notched for the tubing. And every everything is kind of made to just go together. You know, that's the other thing with this is you get this piece, you have to cut, you have to cut it back. Um, just like I well, said, it's not the end of the world, but if this takes three hours to install this thing, you have this to weld the washer on as a stop. Right. And if you're not very handy with a welder, you're gonna destroy that, that washer trying to weld it on. Where ours is a machined piece, all one unit that just welds to the cage. It's, yeah, it's all it's built, done all the stops it. done, everything's there, so. And Other then, than... we're not knocking the Tim McCamus piece. This is a nice part. The only thing is, it's, a, it's very tedious to assemble. Once it's assembled, you're looking at years of care, you know, basically maintenance free. You want to lubricate it occasionally. But other than that, I mean, it's been the standard forever. Now to reinstall. It's super easy to install. You simply put your, and it snaps right in and you're good to go. Yep. And then our, our vertical is pretty much the same, except for it doesn't have the radius here because you don't have the horizontal tube. And then it just comes out of the way, the same thing. So other than the other one, it has a rod in here. Uh, it has a clevis that we machine for the top that slides in in there. And uh, pretty basic. They're really easy to install. This was the main thing, you know, that we wanted to do is something one piece here that's notched. The back pieces are notched. Everything's ready to go. Easy to install. And the, nice, the nicest thing with the vertical 
and why we install it on most of our cars is because with this vertical tube it helps keep the net out of the driver's area where as you can see your traditional horizontal one the net will kind of be a little bit loose in the way where this is nice and rigid everything's you know it's it keeps stays out of the car and once you pull once you pull your pin out it's out of your way to get in and out of the car just just fine yeah yeah it's just personal preference my preference is these this does get out of the way a little bit more than this but this is this is what we use on all our in-house cars unless someone asks for otherwise so all right well i think that's it on our winter nets for now i think troy's so. troy's about to go home it took him 35 minutes to pick up the pieces off the floor so please about time like to go. and subscribe be sure and uh we apologize for uh not sending out any videos for seven months but yeah it's been a long time we've been awful dang busy um we might have added a couple of cnc machines to the yeah uh, we got we'll show all that too but yeah we got all kinds of extra stuff here now so it's definitely been crazy around here and we want to get back to the videos we like everyone commenting and commenting back and everyone that loves to do the same stuff we like to do so we'll definitely get back to them we just gotta start making time we will make time we, we will. will do more videos or troy troy's threatening me if i don't so <laughs> I will, no i won't beat you we'll get them on <laughs> all right guys thanks Thank you.